Some people say that they've uh, tried eating a, a vegetarian diet or a vegan diet for a while, but uh, that they went back to eating meat again, saying that they felt better. Um, do you think there are some people for whom including uh, meat is necessary? No. Meat is never necessary for anyone. But uh, being vegan, we must take care to have a proper balanced diet. Eat responsibly, you know, just like everything else. We have to do it responsibly, yeah? Make sure meals is... Uh, including essential nutrients like fatty acids, iron, protein, etc., etc., then I don't see any problem with that, yeah? According to our personal needs, we have to include in our diet uh, what is necessary. Uh, even if a vegetarian or vegan lacks some nutrient in their diet due to uh, uh, improper attention to food intake, then the meat eater lacks even more, or double, more than double than that, according to the latest data by uh, Dr. Uh, Michael Greger, MD. There are tons of nutritional value and protein available in a plant-based diet. You know, look at the meat, look at all of us. <laughs> we eat nothing but plant-based. <laughs> yes, we are pure vegan, yeah? We have uh, our Alternative uh, living flyers also, in, I have uh, outlined some of the nutrition, uh, valuable food, and we have healthy living shows about uh, nutrition every week, and we are the living proof of it. There are many athletes even who are on a vegetarian or vegan diet, it's even on our shows, and a veggie club list on our show. So please see SupremeMasterTV.com. Yeah, yeah, I've been on at the site. There's uh, plenty of interesting stuff up there. Right, right. We have all the uh, club lists, you know, all the famous <laughs> people <laughs> who athletes also. Even Muhammad Ali, he was vegetarian. Wow, I didn't know that. <laughs> sure, many people didn't. But it is like that, yes. And many more other uh, champions in different spot fields, they are vegetarian. We have shows all the time about them. Thank you, madam. Yeah, leading on from that, um, should we be concerned about supplements if we move to a vegan diet? Like, I think a lot of people are concerned that if they are vegan that they will somehow be losing out on, you know, nutrients that they need. On a proper and sufficient uh, vegan diet, uh, some people say that they do not take them at all even mother who are nursing children. But if anyone thinks they need it, why not? <laughs> People have to decide for themselves according to individual needs, you know? If we feel like run down or less energetic uh, now and again or as a day-to-day -day basic, then maybe we should consider taking it for a while, huh? or as long as we need or desire. Or take what we lack. There is uh, lots of uh, information nowadays about what to do with our diet and what may be vital to supplement, etc., etc. Uh, we will send you uh, websites of them <laughs> so that your reader may be able to refer to them. We will supply it to you. Anyway, uh, from uh, all the reference, we have that the vegan diet uh, deficient in three nutrients. Then the meat eaters are deficient in seven. <laughs> that is Dr. Michael Greger quote on September 2003. Thank you.
in terms of animals, um, obviously animals are very important in our lives. How important do you think they are to us? Wow, you can see. Very important. Many people, they even forsake their comfortable house in the city or anywhere. They go out in the wild, don't in like uh, uh, army-style clothing and sitting in a cold tent for many hours just to take a little photo of the animals for hobby or to watch the birds, you know, the rare and the wild birds in outside. And that makes them feel great when they come home. Yeah. That's their prefer holidays for many people. You see, important. Yeah. We cannot even overemphasize how important the animals are to our well-being, emotionally, psychologically, mentally. Yeah, very much so. I watched a, a video about you and uh, there was so many animals. So you seem to have a great affinity with animals. <laughs> yes, not, not just one person, not just me even, but everyone, they do love animals. Yeah, they go out of their way to watch the birds and all that. They even have bird-watching clubs, you know. <laughs> or uh, fish-watching clubs, or everything they do. Imagine our world with no animals at all. Just imagine it. Oh, I wouldn't like to imagine that. <laughs> no, we can't, right? We cannot live without animals, right? No, so absolutely not. That is that. And uh, if anyone who have dogs, or cats, or birds, or any other animal, turkey, chickens, ducks, geese, if they have them as pet, they would understand more than I can express how important the animals are to our well-being. And uh, anyone who have cats and dogs, according to a medical study, they are more healthy, they live longer. Even if they're ill, they